Peggy 7. Greetings, Portal Master. I am Eon, and I have come to guide you on a great journey. Skylanders Giants are the strongest, most powerful, most unstoppable Skylanders of all time. They're the, the first Skylanders from 10,000 years ago. So they were frozen but lost for thousands of years under pyramids and deep under the ocean. But Chaos has returned to Skylands from Earth and he has brought something with him that's let him resurrect an ancient evil. And the only creatures who can stop it are the giant Skylanders. <laughs> Chaos. Ah, party's over. Not good kind of used a lot of the characters to drive how we, we put the story together. You know, having chaos, he was banished to Earth at the end of Spyro's adventure, so what if we show him in a toy store, really mad, like it just made sense. We thought about Flynn taking his reward money from the first game and buying this broken down airship, but you know, he thinks it's great, but it's actually cursed. So, what do you think of my ship, huh? She's a beauty, ain't she? My favorite character to develop, I think it was probably Terrafin. This is my sarcastic face. <gasps> the first, you know, dozens of drawings that don't, don't look like capable characters. So that one took a lot of iterations to, to make it feel right. We bring the toys to life in animation through the magic moment. We've got this explosive um, burst of personality and the character comes to life on screen and we spend a lot of time tuning that to make that feel just right. And One animator is dedicated to each character. That person gets to stick with that and grow with that character as we tune it and refine that personality throughout development. You know, we have these tools here to work with that allow people to be really creative um, and test things on their own. And then instead of just telling someone about something, they actually are able to show it. There's just a lot of collaboration. Skylanders has been, I think, one of the most rewarding creative experiences of my life, and I know I can say that for a lot of the people here at Toys for Bob. It's, it's not something that you can really describe very effectively, but once you give someone a toy, they put it on the portal of power and it comes alive in the game, they, they understand it. High five! Uh, bad idea.